requested videos and that is how I curl my hair with the flat iron. Um, this is not like a super professional video or anything, but hopefully you guys like it. Um, I did just get my hair recolored, so no more roots. And I went um, a little bit longer on the toner and we tried a different toner to get some more of the yellow out. So it's a little bit more of the white blonde, but not quite there yet. Um, I do, next time I go, want to go a little bit whiter. We're going to see if it, my hair will cooperate and do that next time. But that'll probably be in two months or so and my roots will be growing back in. But um, I'm really happy with the color where it's at. It's a lot lighter than um, it was before. It probably doesn't look that different to you guys, but um, I really like it. So. In this video, I also have um, exciting stuff at the end, so make sure you stick around for that. But without further ado, let's just get started. So if I have somewhat dirty hair, the first thing that I like to do is apply dry shampoo. I don't have too um, dirty hair because I just got my hair done yesterday, so obviously it's still like really clean. When you come out from the salon for some reason, it's like it stays clean for five days. It's weird. But the, this dry shampoo is really amazing. It's Color Care by Kenra, so it doesn't like strip the color of your hair if you do color your hair. Um, and I really, really like this one. I'm going to use a little bit of it just to give it a little bit extra body. Um, or what I'll do is I'll use this boosting spray foam by Kenra. This is number 17. And um, this is really great as well. You're supposed to use it on somewhat damp hair and you blow dry it to give it body. I usually just put it in my hair when it's uh, damp and then I'll let it finish air drying. So I'm just gonna put a little bit where I want the body. This kind of smells like a um, pina colada almost. I think that's what I wanna, wanna say it smells like, which kind of makes me nauseous because one time I I got drunk on pina colada and um, so it makes me feel a little bit nauseous, <laughs> not gonna lie. So I'll let that sit for just a second and while that's sitting, I'll apply the um, hot spray to my hair. So again, Kenra, I really like Kenra products. They're really amazing. They all smell really good. Um, the pina colada smell I love, but it, it just makes me a little sick um, because of that reason. <laughs> but this is amazing. I've been using this for years. Um, I stopped using it for a little while and just recently picked back up using it. It's the number 20 hot spray. This stuff is so good because not only is it a heat protectant, it also has some hold to it. And um, when you want to curl your hair, this is like the ideal um, heat protectant to use because it does give a little bit of hold and this is also good to finish with so when you're done with your curls if you want them to be like super touchable you can instead of hairspray use the hot spray so then I like to go through and just brush out the ends of my hair with the hot spray in it to give it a chance to kind of dry I don't like it to be super wet when I apply the flat iron to my hair and then I'll start working in that um, dry shampoo Okay, once all that product has been worked in and the hot spray is a little bit dry and the dry shampoo is absorbed, I will go in with my flat iron to uh, curl it. So this one is by KQC. I got it from flatironexperts.com. Um, it's a great flat iron for this because it's kind of rounded um, and it's thin. So you want to have a flat iron that's like an inch to one and a half inch wide if you don't want to have it too big because then it won't work properly i've tried it before with like a fat flat iron and i just didn't know what i was doing at the time anyway but it doesn't work as well as if you have a thinner one like this this will give the ideal curl so i don't section off my hair the only sectioning i do is in half um, because i don't like it to be perfect if you like it perfect each curl the same you want to section it off maybe in four pieces but I don't really care. I don't have time for that. Um, ain't nobody got time for that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not totally into that. But um, anyway, so I take a section. I vary my section sizes. So this one's about like an inch. Start here, and I immediately start to curl and just bring it down. The more skipping it does, the more little lines you're gonna have. And then my hair always like comes out of the flat iron. This is not like the most ideal way to do this. Um, I'm not an expert or anything, but this is just how I do it. So then you have like a little curl. It's not perfect. Um, I don't want all of them to be some of them. I want to be pretty defined, but you'll see as I move along how it all works. And I typically do this in a fast-ish motion. That's one of the reasons why I love doing this method for curling hair, because you can go through the piece really fast. You don't have to hold it 
in the curling iron, let's say, if you were using a curling iron. You kind of have to hold it in the curling iron to get the full effect. This, you just run it through. The thinner the pieces that you take, the less, or the quicker you can go through the hair. If you have a bigger chunk, which I'll do now um, to show you, so this is like a bigger chunk. If you want it to still be curly, you kind of have to go through it at a slower pace, which you're going to get more skipping, causing those little lines. So I recommend varying the curl sizes. Um, and again, when you pick a bigger piece, it's not going to curl the same as the thinner pieces. So it's all kind of common sense. The thinner, the more curly it's going to look. The fatter, the less curly, and maybe a little bit more skipping that you'll get. My hair is very straight naturally, so I have days where my hair just hates to be curled. Kind of like today, it's not really enjoying this um, too much. It just some days it just doesn't want to do it. Um, in which case, you kind of have to work with it. You don't want to force your hair to do something it's not wanting to do. You have to compromise with your hair most times, um, depending on the day. It's not cooperating or anything, but you'll see, even if the curls are not super curly or anything, that's actually a good thing. Um, at least for me, with the looks that I go for, I don't like them. Because the, the length of my hair, I have no layers, so when the curls are all together, it kind of makes it have too much body at the ends. Because they all lay at the same level, and it's not always the most attractive looking thing. <laughs> so, um, I don't mind that the curls are like you know, a little bit more of a wave than a curl. Also, if you've noticed, I like to work my way forward from the back because it's just easier to see everything and I can just put the hair to the back of my head and move on to the front because if I started from the front, it's all in the front and gets kind of too much going on here and I can't see what I'm doing, so. And then if I get a bump, like where I'm getting one right there, I just take this and kind of go over it a few times just really quickly just to kind of flatten it out a little bit and that helps because you will get some bumps um, unless you're really good at this I personally am not it takes some practice sorry I keep hearing like the clicking um, that's my cord hitting the cabinet <laughs> but it does take some practice this took me forever to master and I'm still not even that great at it it's just something that goes by really fast that I like to do in the morning so so when I finish one side, then I will hairspray it. This one's really great. It's kind of flexible hold. Um, well, it says super hold, but I think that it's pretty touchable. It doesn't make your hair super crispy or anything. And I just add a little bit. It's the Kenra 25 um, volume spray is what it's called. And this is a really great one. It's one of the most talked about Kenra products, I think. It's one of their most famous. Um, but then I just kind of do a little bit. <laughs> Don't breathe it in. It smells so good. I can't even tell you what it smells like, but it smells amazing. I just want to like spray my whole body in it and just smell like it all day. But um, so I spray it and just let it sit and let the curls cool down and before I like touch them or make them messy or anything. So now I'm just going to do the other side and I'll come back to you. messy or how unmessy you want to make your hair so I like to kind of mess it up a little bit and pull out a few pieces just here and there make it a little you know not as perfect I guess you would say I'm just kind of run my fingers through and shake it out a little bit just so they're not so perfect but then I don't want it to be super big either even though I want some body but I don't want it to be like overwhelming so that's kind of where I would leave it. I really like it with my new color. Sorry, I'm backing away. Um, I really do like it with my new color. I think it looks pretty. On to the exciting part, which I know this is why you're all here anyway. I have a little giveaway for you guys. So all the four products that I showed in this video, I only used a few of them, but I'm going to show them to you again. So these, these four products could be yours. I'm giving away a whole set of these. They're some of my favorite products now, and I love them, and 
Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to give these away to you guys so you guys can try some Kendra products. There is only one winner. It is open internationally, so anybody can enter, and you'll win a whole set of unused products of these four products that you have. I'm just going to go through them again. The Kendra Hairspray, number 25, one of the most famous. You have the Color Care Dry Shampoo, the Hot Spray, number 20, one of my favorite products, and the Boosting Spray Foam 17 from Kenra. So amazing products. I highly recommend entering. Anybody can enter. Just have to be subscribed to me. You can let me know in the comments if you don't know what to write. Only one per um, person, please. Um, I don't want to get overwhelmed with comments, but you can let me know which product you're more excited to try or most excited to try, rather, um, in the comments. If you don't know what else to write, otherwise, you can just leave a normal comment below. It'll count as an entry. Um, and then I will pick a winner one week from today with random.org and contact you. You'll have a few days to contact me back. If you don't, I'll pick a new winner, so make sure you contact me back if you want to claim your prize. Um, I hope